What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a sketch illustration of Miguel from Disney Pixar's Coco. Now you want to begin today's lesson by sketching a circle in the center of a page. Now to help us draw out that circle, we're going to add a couple guidelines. Let's start by sketching a line coming down the center of a page. So we'll start at the very top. It's going to work our way down towards the bottom using these short lines. Now let's move to the center and draw another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side and then just stretch that out towards the right. Now we're going to use these two lines to help us create a circle. So from the center, let's step up towards the top. It's going to mark off the top of our circle. Let's take that same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Now you want to repeat that same process across this horizontal line. So taking this distance out towards the left and then the right side. Now each of these marks will define the size of our circle. So if we want to make a bigger circle, all we need to do is go a little bit further out from that center point or come closer in to make a smaller circle. So let's connect the center of each point with a curve. We start with the top left. Now the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement in the center of our page. We can always go back and just readjust and smooth out our circle. Let's create a gap in between the eyes. So from that center line, let's move over towards the left, right about here. So let's draw this line coming all the way down and up towards the top of our circle. Now you want to take that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Now in this area, we're going to draw a circle for the eye. So let's start from the center line, come in and then back out. Let's do the same thing on the right, draw that same size circle. Want to make sure we come up towards the same height. Now I want to place the nose along the bottom of that center line. So right here, sketch out a circle. And then on either side, we can draw a half circle for the nostrils, going out towards that eye line. Now directly below the nose, let's draw a straight line going across the mouth. Let's add the bottom edge of the hood, starting from the outside. Angle this down and then in towards that center line. Now you want to draw the outside of the hood. On the left side of our head, we're going to step out. I'm just going to trace this across and up towards the middle. Come around and then back down on the right. Now let's bend this in towards the bottom. And we we'll want to pull this back in toward that center point. Just underneath the hood, let's curve the shoulders, going out and then down. Let's sweep the hair over towards the right. So directly above the left eye, we'll step up, curve this down, and then across. Now that we have the basic building blocks that we're drawing, we're going to go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have a clean rough sketch, we're going to go in and add a second level of detail. Let's start by adding the pupils and the iris along the top and inside. So let's start with the left, draw a circle going around and then up. Let's line this up over on the right and do the same thing. Let's flatten off the bottom of the eye, just pulling this up above that circle. And now we're going to move down and add some shape to the mouth. Let's start over on the left, then this up in the middle, and then down. I'm just going to flatten off the corners of the mouth, just stretching this out towards the side. And then we'll curve the bottom of the mouth. We're going to come down and back up. Now along the top, we're going to add a curve for the teeth. Let's go back and add the face paint around the nose. Starting from the outside of the nostrils, angle this up and in towards the middle. And then from the bottom tip of the nose, curve this up and down. Let's add the paint around the eyes. Starting from the inside of the left eye, step in, bend this up and out. And I'm just gonna mirror this over on the right side. I'm gonna go around the eye and then come down towards that center line. Let's curve the bottom, coming down and in. 
And I'm just gonna angle it straight up towards the inside. And now that we've got our detailed sketch in place, we can go in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some more details and refining the shape. Now I'm gonna start with the outside edge of the iris. So start on the left and trace out that circle, just smoothing that out. Let's add a small circle in the center for the pupil, just lightly sketching this in. And now we're gonna add a couple highlights. So let's start on the top right side with a small circle, an even smaller circle along the bottom. I'm just gonna line that up over on the right. Let's darken up the center of the pupil. Now we add a medium shade to the inside of the iris and we wanna go around those highlight circles. going in and adding some more shape to the eyes. Let's add a light shade along the outside of the eye. We're just going to fade that in, and this will help give some shape to the eyeball. Give it a little bit more roundness. And then move down towards the nose. I'm just going to start with the nostrils. Now the mouth. I'm just going to separate out the teeth and just round out the bottom of each tooth. We'll darken up the inside of the mouth. I want to refine the shape of the face paint. Turn it around the nose. And we'll just darken that in. I'm just going to leave a little bit of a highlight along the top edge of the nose. So we still see a bit of the shape. and adding some paint around the mouth. We'll go darker around the corners of the mouth and just blend that in. And work our way along the lower lip. Now I'm just gonna add those stitches across the mouth. Let's use the side edge of a pencil to add that paint around the eyes.
And I'm going to just smooth out the outside, just blending that in towards the face. And I'm just going to darken up the contrast along the top. Just lightly add those markings underneath the eyes. Just lightly shading those in. And I'll move up and use a side edge of our pencil to add some texture and volume to the hair. So starting along the edge of the hood, I'm just going to pull this across towards the right. And we can go back to the tip of our pencil and add that fine detail. Now the hood's going to cast a bit of a shadow across the side of the face. Now I'm just going to add that medium shade to the rest of the hood. And then we're going to go a little bit darker along the bottom to cast that shadow and then fade that up. Now as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Miguel from Coco. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. And if you want to draw more characters like this, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.